This is the second battle between me and Tovarish. In the first battle, he ran into some problems because I rushed and took out his general with horse archers. So in this battle, I was fairly confident that he was going to do something to shield himself from horse archers, which meant that I had to change things up a bit. So in this battle, I have five Galatian swords, I have one, one mercenary, uh, one Syrian heavy archer, I have three Skiritai, they are javelin infantry with ten ammunition for killing cataphracts, I have five Galatian legionaries, then I have my five Sarmatian horse, one Cappadocian cap, and one Skiritai in the back. So perhaps in order to reduce my mobility, uh, Tovarish decides to deploy on the flanks here. He has a very dense and concentrated formation. Uh, he has more cavalry this time. He has four Median Cav. He has two Cataphracts, Levy Freeman, still four Cretan Archers, uh, still four Libyan Infantry. So he definitely lacks the infantry to stand up to my infantry. His cavalry could do a decent job, but Draco could change all that because Sarmatian horse against Medeans, the Medeans are going to do a good job against the Sarmatian in a normal fight due to their higher bonus. But with Draco in the mix, my melee cavalry beats his melee cavalry. So I'm going to approach him at a slight angle so that I some of my units are going to be able to be positioned in the forest here when I engage his Cretan line. Because if I'm not careful, these Cretans could snipe my general in seconds. And I see that he moves all of his cavalry off on this flank. So what I want to do now is I want to send my cavalry together with Skiritai support over by the flanks. So I want to create a flank that is sort of unassailable by cavalry. There isn't enough room to maneuver on this side, I think. And so by keeping some cavalry center and by sending my Skiritai and cavalry to the flanks, I'm fairly certain I'm going to be able to push away his cavalry there. So I do that, I faint a bit with my Syrian heavy archers, send my cavalry towards the flanks together with the Skiritai support. And now the Skiritai move into the forest to shield them a bit from mercenary Cretans. The mercenary Cretans start firing on the Skiritai, but firing, uh, th I, I am going to lose Skiritai, but they are not that important in this particular battle. So I use the opportunity to push up my Galatian swords. Take fire on the Skiritai. The Skiritai are dropping quickly. Nicely done here in pushing up Levy Freeman and uh, these these Skiritai to, uh, and these uh, Tereos to shield the cavalry. But then I'm going to seize the opportunity to send my Sarmatian horse and push back the enemy skirmish line, the entire enemy skirmish line, while I'm moving up here with Galatian swords. So moving around a bit, the Levy Freeman go over there, then they turn around. And I got stopped by the Levy Freeman, which was bad, but they didn't manage to stop me completely. So I can turn, get the charge, Draco all of these units, get into the flank of the Tereo Spears. The Galatian uh, swords are taking a lot of damage, but that's what they're there for. Sending them into the Levy Freeman, pushing away the skirmishers. And now the flanks, his flanks are far away from the main engagement, while my, ca my cavalry is a lot closer. The Cretan archers starting to fire now, so I have to shut them up. Uh, my Sarmatian horsemen are very close, but they're not taking any fire yet because this Galatian sword is tied down. Getting a decent charge here with Galatian swords against the Libyan infantry. The Libyan infantry is going to get enveloped, charging into Draco Levy Freeman, so they're going to be losing a lot of men from that Sarmatian horseman charge. The Skiritai firing into the Eastern Cataphracts with their javelins. Now I want to use this Sarmatian horse against the Eastern Cataphracts and rush in the Skiritai support. So the, the slow Eastern Cataphracts get caught by the Sarmatian horse and now I'm going to sacrifice them by firing with the javelins into the Eastern Cataphracts. I'm losing this unit but it's holding off a lot of enemy units. Once again the Galatian legionaries managed to get into the Cretans because the Cretans stood and fought. Galatian swords into Thoreos, Galatian swords into Libyan infantry. The Libyan infantry is getting attacked by both Galatian legionaries and a Galatian sword here. The cavalry moves around to support the Cretan archers, but at this point it's it's just too late. The the um, Franken uh, Franken uh, Franken Seleucid army is surrounded. The Eastern cataphracts are losing decisively, taking a lot of javelin fire here. I'm also losing Sarmatian horse, but. They are a cheaper unit, so I'm fine with this. This is also the general's unit. The Skiritai losing decisively. 
But now I've gotten some cavalry into the Cretans, so they won't be able to fire. I have Galatian legionaries fighting Medeans in close combat. Same with the Galatian swords. So I have keep some units in reserve here. Waiting for an opening. Uh, I actually dismount my Cappadocian cavalry here. So they're fighting on foot against this Median, which means that the Median cavalry doesn't get any bonuses against them. A bit unnecessary at this point, but I just wanted to try it. So the Medeans disengage, they go to charge my Galatian legionaries, get hit by precursors. The Galatian legionaries are going to lose uh, some men here, but they can take a charge from medium, uh, medium Median cavalry. The enemy general not doing too well, been shot down by the summation horse. The Thoreo spears getting attacked by Skiritai, and the Skiritai keep firing into this blob to just do the damage against the enemy cavalry. So here my general on foot is fighting the eastern cataphracts and the summation horse. The Libyans getting ground down by Galatian swords and uh, Galatian legionaries. I just pulled back these guys a bit. Then go for a second charge against the shield wall. I could have swung around here but looking at what's left I don't really need to. And while that has been going on my Syrian heavy archers have gone completely unnoticed and poured the fire into this cavalry. So all of these kills for the Syrian heavy archers are cavalry kills. Uh, now I have them on heavy shot firing in to kill these Median cavalry units faster. The enemy general still taking javelin fire here from the Skiritai. The Skiritai gotten an experience chevron from that. Very nice to have 10 ammunition javelin units with melee capabilities. So the Eastern Cataphracts are losing here up against my Cappadocians. Uh, well, mostly up against my Sarmatians it seems. Because I got the charge there, my Cappadocian cavalry on foot. Uh, doing damage to the Eastern Cataphracts. The Eastern Cataphracts routed due to army losses. And 1300 kills against about 700 again. The um, Galatian Legionaries did a good job. The cavalry did slightly better. These guys did a good job in sniping enemy cavalry. Uh, the Skiritai, not the highest amount of kills, but very impo important kills, because most of the kills are on these cavalry units. So, I think Tovarish's army, uh, I'll just show you Tovarish's army to show you what he had here. Um, because he had, he was Arcanest, uh, Arcanest was the name of his army, let's see, Arcanest. Yeah, so he had, he had uh, Eastern Cataphracts, he had Libyan Infantry, Axemen, Levy Freeman. So, four Cretan archers is always a risk because you have to secure the cavalry dominance to be ordered to use uh, in order to be able to use Cretan archers effectively. So, uh, if I was Arcanus, I would probably have betted on some Eastern Cataphracts, some Libyan infantry, and uh, perhaps some Axemen. So, let's see, four Axemen. But you can see the problem then, that the problem is that you get a very small army that is easily flanked, easily uh, surrounded. So, um, if you go with four axes, you can only afford one Levy Freeman. And the Median cavalry basically loses to the Sarmatian horse because of the Draco. So, one option is to try to just spam the infantry. Try to spam the infantry and try to use the axemen and the levy freemen to block charges, use the axemen and the Libyans as second line infantry, but then you're left with very very little cavalry indeed, and only having two eastern cataphracts in this case against the mass of Sarmatian horsemen would make the would make the Libyans and the axemen easy pickings for my cavalry I think. So the thing is though that with Draco being on the field these axemen would do a better job against the against the cavalry than the levy freemen. An exception being that the levy freemen are very cheap and have javelins. So I would still bring the levy freemen. But I think I would have just tried to out infantry the army because you're not going to be able to out cavalry it. The eastern cataphracts might get a great charge, but then they're very easily going to get ground down in melee. So I think something like this, I would have considered something like this. Uh, the issue issue then would be the horse archers. How do you counter the horse archers? Well, screening uh, screening horse archers with levy freemen can be very effective. So I think just screening horse archers with levy freemen and going for something like this, being super defensive with the cavalry, keeping levy freemen at all sides, 
and just using the cavalry to try to stop a few key charges and then send in the infantry would have been a lot harder for me to overcome but it, uh, like I said I think my army was an army that is stronger than Tovarish's army uh, Arcanes and um, because the Galatian legionaries defeat the Libyan infantry the uh, Galatian swords do a good job against the axemen on the charge at least but they will die but th the thing with axemen is that they have such low health 50 health compared to the health of the libyan infantry at at uh, 60 so i think uh, orcanus's army would have been a lot stronger if he just had some low tier barbarian swords or even hastati hastati and libyan infantry could be a great combination as well but against the summation horse and against the uh, the galatian legionaries against the against the Amazonian riders, it, it was a very tough battle for Arcanes, especially since he chose to bring skirmishers. Uh, it w it's just so easy to shut down skirmishers when you have the cavalry advantage, which I had. In the next battle though, in the finals of the tournament, I'm going to be facing Dorner's army. And Dorner, uh, I've talked about this army before, but Dorner has Ariovistus as his general. He has Galatian legionaries and Hastati, a terrible, terrible combination. And then he has Persian Cav, and Persian Cav with fast charge is just insane. So he also has Spear Levy, and Spear Levy is slightly better than Levy Freeman. He has Germanic Slingers that can effectively shut down any skirmish line. He also has the Summation Horse. So just bringing Galatian Legionaries, Hastati, a few Germanic Slingers and Persian Cavalry means that I am going to have a hard time in every single engagement. But funny as it might sound, I look forward to the challenge. Strength and Honor.